The next report features Ilya Musa, a graduate of public administration who is into the business of honey production. Another industrious entrepreneur making waves in the business of honey production is Ilya Musa. A graduate of public administration from the University of Jos, 42-year-old Ilya Musa speaks on his adventure into the business of honey production as he applauds the bank of industry for playing a pivotal role in taking his business to the next level. A bank of industry, you know, a lot of people think that uh, bank of industry, you go there and get money. But I realized that bank of industry, they don't really give you money, the, the, the solid cash, but they, they, they give you equipment, machineries. So out of 100%, they give you at least 70% uh, goes for machines, equipment and other things. 30% goes for your working capital. So by then, after, after I applied, I, uh, uh, I passed through a three-month uh, exams, online exams, because most of the materials, they do send it from South Africa, and you have to concentrate, do your best, answer it, pass the exam. About 80, uh, I mean 18 subjects, and I passed the 18 subjects. So they invited me to Bauchi for an induction course training. So I went to Bauchi we, for, for, for a week. They, they, they teach us how to do marketing, you know, labeling, a lot of things. That training was really rich. So from there, I paid more attention. Along the line, after everything, I have to apply. I applied for the loan. And the loan, there was no collateral. The collateral is my BAC certificate and my NYSC discharge certificate. So honestly, uh, today, if not because of that bank, I don't think I'll be here. Today, today, today you can see that I started with a, a business name. A business name, the Bank of Industry knows me as Liehila Global Concept. But from there, the business now, when I access that uh, funds from them, uh, today I have up to, I have a limited liability company. And uh, initially we are doing this thing together with my wife. But because we access this loan, now we don't really go and scout for the honey from other people or farmers, so to say. But at least we have our own apiary. We have up to 250 Kenyan Tobba hives. And aside this, that's the one in our own apiary here within JOS. And uh, we embark on training. It is through this intervention that we were able to, to scale our horizon to go up to the extent of training young people here on a plateau and some part of uh, Kaduna State so that we do it a kind of outgrower scheme. We have 17 local government here on the plateau, so we are targeting out of these 17 local government, if we can train up to like 20 youth and empower them with up to like uh, five, five Kenyan top hives, you can imagine the, the harvest. So uh, the intervention for this uh, bank of industry, honestly, that is the thing that really, really brought this company to where it is today. Bank of Industry called my attention. I could remember uh, as far back as uh, 2018, around February, yeah, when the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, came to JOS about uh, uh, this SME clinic at Polo Field here in JOS. So uh, along the line, the VP, they asked me, what are your challenges in the business? And I told him point blank that uh, uh, registration. And they say, what kind of registration? I said, NAVDAC registration. I believe if I have NAVDAC today, I believe I can break even. So it is because of the bank of industry 
that they even offered me a kind of uh, a boot to showcase my product. And I was lucky when the vice president came, he saw me there, he took my honey, I gave him some, I gave him the honey, I gave him the hair cream, the body jelly, the lip balm. I told him that he should go and try it. So along the line, uh, when I told him that uh, my major challenge is NAVDAC registration number, I was surprised after a week or two, I received a call that uh, the VP paid 50% uh, uh, of the NAVDAC registration number. So we have to commit ourselves by paying the remaining 50%. And that's how we got our NAVDAC registration number. So uh, I think our Bank of Industry, they look at me here on the plateau as the youth ambassador of that bank. Uh, our vision for this business is we want to be the best beekeeper around the globe. And, uh, uh, well, it's quite challenging. The reason why I say it's quite challenging, uh, the challenge here is the issue of insecurity. Because uh, we don't have SR honey, broad daylight. A lot of people are really afraid of bees. Uh, young people, you know, you have, to, you have to train them, you have to put sense into them, you have to talk to them, you have to sensitize them about beekeeping. You know, a lot of people, they feel once they enter the apiary as if they will meet with their dead there. No, there are, there are a lot of things that you can put on and make sure that you are safe. Whatsoever that you do, you make sure that you are safe once you are well kitted. You can do this thing. So what I'm looking at, I really want uh, to see how my vision about this is to empower young Nigerians to make sure that, uh, as you can see, most of my, my, my staff here are, are, are ladies, are females. So uh, at a point in time, I look at female, sorry to say it, but that's just my own opinion and the way I look at it. Women are more sincere when it comes to business. They don't really steal your things. I know I work with so many that I took them as part-time workers, but they end up stealing my things. But you see, the young ladies here, I am happy to see that they are not roaming the streets, you know? But at least this company have given them a sense of belonging. They can come here at least, spend up to like uh, eight hours here, go back home. When you go back home, you are tired. I don't think you want to go somewhere. So my vision for this business is to empower youth in general. You see, there are, there are a lot of value chain in beekeeping. Beekeeping is one of the most lucrative business in Nigeria and around the globe. I can tell you that. Quote me anywhere. Um, you see, you uh, you, can, you can specialize on building the hives because aside, aside the Kenyan top hive, we have what we call Langstroth hive. Langstroth hive is too technical, you know, very, very technical. And that one, you get it outside the country, you have to import it. But that one gives you more of honey than, uh, than Kenyan top hive. Kenyan top hives can give you honey once, twice in a year, but uh, Langstroth hive can give you like, uh, you can harvest your honey quarterly, but in la you know, in everything there's advantage and disadvantage. So the advantage of Kenyan Toba hives, you make sure you, you get more of chaff, and that chaff, that's the bee comb. That comb, that's the one that we, we, we process it initially, Years back, I used to throw it away. I will have to gather it and wait during raining season. If there is a flood, then I will begin to throw it away. So, but through research and development, I find out that uh, you can extract wax out of it. And out of this wax, you can make uh, uh, hair cream, body jelly, uh, shoe polish, aromatic candle. And aside the, the wax itself, uh, there is what we call propolis, there is pollen, there is royal jelly, and there is uh, bee venom therapy. This bee venom therapy, we are working on it because in this company we have, we have, uh, we have uh, uh, a lab scientist, a, um, 
food scientists, then we have uh, uh, a biochemistry, and uh, we have we have an accountant. So these people, we sat down together, we robbed mine, and I said they should go into research. How can we start the bee venom therapy? Because that bee venom therapy is just like acupuncture. Once you have rheumatism, it increases. We can take the, the live bee and you have to pay us for the bee to sting you. This thing that people are afraid of is a medicine. It boosts up your immune system. So in beekeeping, I think uh, one liter of honey, uh, one liter is up to 3,000. One liter. So it's more than the, the fuel, the PMS. Well, today, uh, <laughs> Today, look, I'm um, sitting here smiling. It's not easy. It's not easy for one business in Nigeria. It's not really easy, honestly. Uh, but I must commend the effort of uh, the office of the vice president based on this uh, uh, SME support that the vice president kept on preaching. Let me say the government entirely. So. Uh, my advice to young entrepreneurs, it's not really easy. I always tell people that first, look unto God. Secondly, ask yourself, why are you here on planet Earth? Is it just for you to, to dress up and show up? I don't believe that. If you see the house I'm, I'm living now, it's just one, one parlor, two bedroom. You know, when you shout from the other room, you hear, I call it, let's meet in the parlor. So, but uh, out of what I'm doing today, I think uh, I, 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 a lot of people, I become their role model because I am focused. And I expect the young entrepreneurs here in Nigeria, they should be focused. You know, there is, there is no way life whatsoever, they said a thousand uh, miles, right? Begins with uh, a step, one step. So perseverance, you have to be patient. Don't just think that it will just come like that. Today, this company, we have our NAVDAC registration number, we have our SON, MANCAP, and we pay our taxes. We pay our tax, we pay our, we, we file our, our returns with uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, that's CAC. So we have, we, we, we preach, we do the right thing. What the government really wants us to do, we are doing it. And uh, whatsoever, you can, you can go and check about us. If you go to our website, you see it. So my advice to young entrepreneurs is for them to remain focused. Remain focused. There is a lot of challenges, especially uh, if you ask most of the youth, they will tell you uh, funding, funding, finance, finance. But try to know what do you really want. Then concentrate and focus on it. It takes me years upon years upon years and today here am I. Formerly known as Liyahila Global Concept, the bee farming and honey production company started in a small apartment along Rayfield Road in Joss. Locally fabricated honey processing machine. Okay. Uh, but right now, it's it's down. It's not really working. So we go on manual. We, we, we allow the honey to drop by to fall by gravity. After that, we do the sieving manually, and we allow it to settle for at least a week or two, so that the bubbles will come up. Once the bubble come up, we scoop it. Then we begin to package it in uh, 300 and, uh, 350 grams, 280 grams, then 700 grams as well. Mm. And it all depends on the quantity you want. We package it for you. With little financial resources that could boost the growth of the business, until the intervention of the Bank of Industries program, the Youth Empowerment Scheme, With the BOI intervention, 
The bee farm was established on a two-hectare land with about 420 apiaries, where honey is scooped from the comb through a thorough and very careful process that requires maximum protection against bee stings. The new factory site, which was acquired with the intervention facility, houses the production departments for the production of honey, processing and packaging, and other allied products. In addition to honey production and packaging, Bombo Rose Empire Limited is also involved in the production of food spices such as curry powder, chili pepper, turmeric and cinnamon powder, among others. <laughs> 